Hello everyone. Today's topic of discussion is about men's syndrome. Men's syndrome is multiple endocrine neoplasia, and the men's syndrome is classified as men one, men two a, men two b, also known as men three and men four. Men one. Coming to detailed explanation of men one, which is also known as Vermeer syndrome. And in men one, which occurs due to the mutation in tumor suppressor gene, which is a menin protein involved in the men one syndrome. Then men one is manifested with following entities, which include Zollinger Ellison syndrome, which is associated with gastrinomas, hypoglycemia and neurological manifestations associated with insulinomas, and remember that duodenum is the most common site of gastrinomas in patients with men one syndrome. Coming to men one syndrome, these individuals with men one syndrome also have the following manifestations with involvement of the pancreas, resulting in pancreatic adenoma, involvement of the pituitary, in resulting in prolactinoma, involvement of the parathyroid glands, resulting in the parathyroid adenoma. Men two A, which is also known as Sipple syndrome, the another name for men two A is Sipple syndrome, and the mutation in red proton codon is the main reason for the occurrence of the men two A. Men two A individuals manifest with medullary carcinoma of thyroid, which is associated with C cell hyperplasia, Hirschsprung disease, and intestinal A gangliosis. Bilateral pheochromocytomas, which can be sometimes extra adrenal, adrenal, which can be extra adrenal. Men two A individuals also manifest with involvement of the parathyroid gland, resulting in parathyroid hyperplasia, and also sometimes parathyroid adenoma. Parathyroid adenoma. Men two B coming to the men two B, which occurs due to the mutation in red proton codon. Remember the most important point. Remember in men two B is there is no parathyroid involvement is noted. Men two B individuals manifest with neuromas and ganglion neuromas of skin, mucosa, GI and respiratory tract. Marfanar habitus. It is explained as long axial features with hyperextensible joints. So it is the explanation of the Marfanar habitus, which is the Manifestation in individuals with men to be. Also, the men to be individuals manifest with medullary carcinoma of thyroid, pheochromocytoma, which involve in the adrenal gland. Coming to the men four, which has the clinical features of men one, resulting in pheochromocytoma, no, parathyroid adenoma, yes, pancreatic adenoma, yes. The other P is. Prolactinoma involved in the pituitary. So the P P P. Remember, don't get confused. That is, so the men one syndrome individuals manifest with the three P manifestation. That is, pituitary involvement resulting in prolactinoma, parathyroid involvement resulting in parathyroid adenoma, and pancreatic involvement resulting in pancreatic adenoma. Then coming to the men four individuals, which occurs due to that is the men for syndrome occurs due to germline CDKN1B mutation leading to reduced levels of cell cycle checkpoint protein, which is P27, which is P27. Thank you. If you like the video, please share and subscribe it. Thank you very much.